Hello there, everyone. Hello. There we go. Hello, everyone. It's me, Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. I'm sorry about the delay, everyone. We had some technical issues on my end. It's all solved. Don't need to worry about it. Anyway, today is Monday, May 13th of 2024. And you know what Mondays are. It's Battletech Advance 362. Where we left off last time was what... Well, as we got, just got done with the Orano campaign. Right now, we're going to be heading off to do the next camp... Ne uh, do... We already got the beginning of the Heavy Metal campaign done. We're going to do the rest of it. Uh, as much as we can tonight. And also, possibly take on a dropship. I might swap to that halfway through the stream tonight. Until then... Oh, until then... Until then, we'll focus on we'll focus on heavy metal stuff and all that. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Since we're running late already. Game is right now loading up the save as we speak. Also, let me get the music going because we're just waiting on waiting on the save here. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well tonight, chat. Of course, I'll ask how you're all doing periodically. All right. Game's loaded up. Tex is going to be out of commission for a while, but... Also... While we're here... going to do some repairs on stuff because we need it. I wish there was a pancake model because that would be appropriate for this. Come on. Why aren't you Thank you. Now to find that cockpit mod. Don't tell me we don't have it anymore. Have another one. Because I swore we did have, have another one. Hey Apollo, how you doing? Well, right now we're having ourselves a little bit of a delay to everything but due to technical issues. But hey, we're doing fine right now. Had to re had to restart on building this entire mech because it got pancaked. I'm surprised that surprised that the whole mech was in total because all that was left was the head. As, as is, I'm just gonna... Because I don't have all the stuff needed to start from... Start to basically make a copy of this. I'm gonna have to start from scratch on this. Let's just put in... Quartet of PPCs. Do I have enough... 
PPC fire control systems. No, I do not. Damn. Should you move those to the arms? Put the PPC fire control systems into the torso because that'll be good enough. What did I use? Engine 250. Actually, cord 255. And, let, and it was a dense, was a dense engine which came from the Sanctuary Worlds, which I don't have any more of. But I got a compact. Hopefully, that'll do. Yes, I got a 255 engine core. Nice. Let's go with clan dual heat sinks. Actually, double heat sinks. It's the sa actually no. Let's go with sanctuary world ones. Yeah, I agree. It's not a good day when you're also become shrapnel. But in this instance, it's less shrapnel, more pancake because Sumeri landed the dropship on Tex. Do I have any more heat banks? Yeah, bulk heat bank right there. Keep the armor at that. At that. Let's. Do I have the hardened armor? On, armor on hand. There it is. Okay, a little bit over, which I can handle. Just means I have to remove a couple of heat. Remove a few heat sinks. But it's about as. It's better than it was. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. Repair it. It'll re ought be automatically repaired. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be. And before hard. we head out, one more. We'll check out the Atlas Two here. Okay, I understand the LRMs, the medium pulses, but. I think we could I think we could actually do a lot better. First move this upgrade to clan. That way we don't need case. Swap the UAC fives for let's go with the community content ultra LBX fives. Because why not have, sh why not have, shotgun squared? The I'm getting rid of all this here. For the LRMs, we'll replace. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a community content weapon, but it's still funny. Now, we're gonna... Because there's no minimum range on these, I'm putting in two LRM-20s. I I might try Rogue Tech one day. I don't know yet. I have to have to. I'm gonna have to. Ba ba
basically do a new install of Altec and then work, work off that. Uh, put in some medium pulse lasers. Just to be funny, a death ray. Hi, Yosa, how you doing? Where is it? There's... there's the ammo. Right here. Perfect. And a little bit of tonnage remaining where... where we're gonna use some... some, some other stuff here. I'm thinking a ECM Suite Clan edition. And just simply add ton add tonnage to the armor. Perfect. There. Oh. Did not think that through when I put the death ray in. I need ammo for the LRMs. Well, six tons. Well, I could put in a clan PPC. Because why not? Oh, you want to see something that has a death right. ray? I'll get it in the schedule. I'm trying to remember. No, that's the wrong one. That's not it either. Where are you? Oh yeah, Mech Bay 2! Oh yeah, I forgot to fix things. Let's go to refit. By the way, the Death Ray was added in to, to an April Fool's update. <laughs> oh, the Matar? Yeah. You can get the Matar in Baltic event, if you BTA. Where's the mercy? Or did I run out of th run out of mercies? Wow, I think I ran out of them. I have to go back into America's controlled space to fix this up. Well, 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 necessity breeds innovation, so. How many death rays do I have left? Death ray, death ray. Oop, wrong, wrong one, this one. I have three left, so. Why not make an entire mech with death rays? And double heat sinks to absorb all the heat that'll generate because if you take a look at heat efficiency right here, well, Alpha Strike is going to be doing 360 heat with a heat delta of 240. And at the end of the turn, I can only sink part of it. Well, that's not good. Let's increase the tonnage. The engine. How big the engine is. Here is the. Oh, I could put a. Uh, since I took that out, I could put a exchange for three in. 
Oh yeah, one crit probably could cripple it. But four but four death rays! <laughs> I mean, there's a mech that has two death rays. I might as well make take the Matar and make it four. Let's see if we could get it. Four three thirty. Yes, but not right. Let's go with a one t with a three twenty and put in an e cooling of two. Now I need a something to fill in that half ton remaining. Wait, do I have myself a mini heat sink? Yes, one mini heat sink. Really doesn't do a do a thing about it, but hey. Twenty days for this to get fixed. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Just have to repair the Hyperion Keats and the Royal Warhammer here. Luckily, this is a case of having to repair things. And before we go, anything in interesting in the store? Bef uh, does, no. Doesn't look like it, besides. Besides, we're gonna to have to come back here anyway for for bringing down either a Union dropship or an Overlord. I'm thinking bringing down a Union. But until then, we better continue with the uh, heavy metal campaign here. By your command. Oh, I better do a bit of adjustment here. Pause. Move the matar. Move that matar down because it's really and the also down. There's no priority for this, for those two anyway. Because for the for text to pilot his awesome again, he's gonna have to get out of the med bay in ninety in almost a hundred days. Thank you, Sumeri, for flattening his mech. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. <laughs> That's like the old muscle car you have in the back, and less the thing you're about to fight with tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, well, I. It's also a good thing I had to refit it, or say rebuild it, because I could only have fired off three. <laughs> it was the pilot's fault. That's what you think. <laughs> I'm sorry. So Mary decided to take the dropship and land, <laughs> and wasn't really paying attention to where to where the mechs were. Okay. Hunting season. Okay, people, the Bowman's Group Distribution Center is smack dab in the center of un of an uninha uninhabited jungle in Independence's Equatorial Greenbelt. We're going to fight our way to the distribution center and find out where they've taken the dope breath and liberate as much exotic contraband as a leopard can carry. It can't be that easy. It's never that easy. It won't be. The Bowman Group has particularly well-armed cavalry. Cal ah, sorry, stuttering over my words t tonight. It seems uh, well-armed cavalry, cavalry lands patrolling just outside the, the projected AO. If we attack the distribution center before we deal with them, they'll have plenty of time to circle around and outflank us. Yeah, it sounds like a situation we'd like to avoid. It is, and that's why we're going to play this one safe. Rather than mounting a direct assault on the facility, I'm setting our mech warriors down on the outer edge of the group's territory. 
If the intel that Darius contacts get, gave us checks out, we'll catch the outforce cavalry lance with its pants down. And if it doesn't check out, that'll tell us something too. Well, works for me. Dr. Maraud, have you brought the motor bureau back online yet? Two steps ahead of you, Commander. I'll put it on the view screen. Oh, Commander Wheeler, I've been informed of your impending combat drop. When you've taken the Bauman Group's distribution center, please send word to, to Engineering Dr. Maraud, and I will, will stand ready to analyze any and all data that you recover. Alternatively, you could, I don't know, maybe help us out? I mean, we didn't haul your combat drones all the way out here for nothing. If your lance requires assistance, I will, of course, provide it. A word of caution, however. My combat drones are a limited resource. When they are damaged or destroyed, I have no way of replacing them. Nobody aboard this ship has the specialized knowledge required to repair an SLDF combat drone, including me. Those functions were governed by a by dedicated systems aboard my orbital platform. And you're not on your platform anymore. Wonderful. Mama Bear is right, Mayor. You should keep the drones in reserve until we actually find the Dobrev. I get a feeling we're going to need them. Agreed. And besides, the 50 grand that we blew on bribe should make this deployment a cakewalk. I guess we'll set by now soon enough. Let's get down, th get down there, Jameson. The sooner we engage the enemy, the more time we'll have to hit the distribution center. Ah, uh, come on, load up. Thank you. Okay, is this... Now, I'm going to... I'm not bringing out the... Bringing out everything. Grandpa will be in this one. And... Can we use uh, any other pilot? Okay, Arbiter... Actually, no. Let's go with... Go with my clone here. Can we add one more? Grandpa will get... The Helopolis. Oh, yeah, he's still good for the Helopolis. I'll bring out my Kodiak Prime that I've... Excuse me, my Omni Kodiak. The Omni Mac Kodiak. You will get the Annihilator 2. Which, of course, has Stormbreaker cannons. Usually, usually Stormbreaker, Stormbreaker arrays, clan ones. And announcer, we're gonna give you something heavy. We're not gonna go. We're not gonna go with a scorpion this time. Oh, I can only drop four. Damn. Oh, Grandpa, you're gonna. Take a little break. Harmony will come in with a longbow. And here we go. Oh, by the way, if you have any lore questions, just please put it in the chat. I'll, if I can answer them, I, I'll try to. Anyway. Well, they're based off of, uh, off the old, ter of the, of the old old version of Japan.
in, in that in that universe anyway. Besides, I'd rather have the honor of the the combine than the honor of the clatters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this ain't the most sane or the most reasonable. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to hit my microphone there. <laughs> Scratch my nose, inadvertently hit the microphone. <laughs> oh, what do you expect? It's mounted onto my headset. And sorry, it takes a little bit of time to load. If it takes a little bit of time to load, haven't figured out how to fix that yet for me. Yeah, one to one of their mechs yakes out a five-ton hatchet. I thought they thought it'd be like a five-ton katana, because that makes more sense. A Hanamoto Chi equipped with a katana. Uh, are we having issues? No, it's just simply a case of, yep, we're having a bit of issues here. I had the bitrate drop here for a second. No clue why that happened. I will have to figure that out also. I don't know what happened to cause the bitrate to drop for a second. Well, well, it probably might be part of the invasion of the inner of the inner sphere, especially if we're going to go off of the uh, of the mer of the mercenaries um, version of the game. Since we're going, since we're getting close, to, close to it there, I think think that we're going to be part of either we're going to be part of the invasion, or we're going to be trying to drive off, going to be part of the hopeless effort of trying to drive off, drive off the inner sphere when they decide to attack us. But when I saw the preview mission that they did, it definitely looks like it's going to be, it's going to be, I'm thinking it's going to be during the invasion. Yeah, I agree. It would be fun. 
Oh, and I, and I'm thinking it could. I'm thinking because I remember the. One second, let me hit begin on this. I remember with there was this preview version of go all all together and took it. <laughs> yeah. But all I can remember is the is the preview preview version of Megware 2 which was good which was based kind of off the of Megware 1's engine. It was going to be titled Megware 2 The Clans before it got a whole initiated. bunch of delays which made it get developed a whole lot more. Anyway, one second, let me let me read what's here. Bring to our intel the Bowman's group cavalry rant lance should be patrolling through this AO. Get in there, hit him hard, and wipe him out. When the cavalry lance is on ice, you'll be cleared to advance on the Bowman's distribution center. Better move fast. I just intercepted communication at Nocto Brahman's jump ship. Apparently, the distribution center is under attack. Yeah, that's confirmed. I'm picking up signs of explosions and laser fire. So much for our cautious approach. Can you get us over there now, Meyer? Can't risk it. The AO's too hot. You're just going to have to deal with this problem before moving on to the next. With luck, the op force hired guns, and whoever these new assholes are, will soften one another before we get there. Okay, the rain should help your heat sinks keep up, Commander, but don't expect any miracles from this from a light shower like this. Now, this mech in particular, this what do you need, Commander? I'm not really moving. If for those who are new here. Because these these weapons, these ver variable range, range missiles from the Sanctuary wo uh, Worlds, well, they work better the further away you're out. So, long, the only thing that I'm having the longbow do... What do you need, Commander? ...is get into the water. Because it cools down the mech. I'm going. Okay, Commander, we got an incoming transmission from an unknown dropship. It isn't the one of Bauman's, so it must be whoever's hitting the distribution center. Oh, shit! Who is it, Meyer? The bounty hunter, as in THE bounty hunter. The one who with the Holovid show, and the action figures, and the quadruple digit kill count. I'm putting him through. Commander Wheeler of Ghost Wolf's Pack. We've never spoken before, but I trust that you know who, we're, who you're talking to. We know who you are, who you are, bounty hunter. I doubt there's a mech warrior alive who doesn't. If you don't mind me, my asking, what the hell are you doing here? Same thing you are, only faster and better. My crew is packing up the Bowman's group's inventory as we speak. Thanks for the heads up, I guess. It was more of a friendly warning. You're going to want to stay away from the distribution center until we finish clearing, cleaning it out. Matter of fact, it worked best for me if you just withdraw from combat right now. I'll give you a few minutes to decide. He is off the line. We just got threatened. We just got threatened by a celebrity. A man's a living legend, for God's sakes. So, are we withdrawing? If we turn tail and run, the bounty hunter will just probably shoot us in the ass on the way out. The man has a reputation. If, even if he does, the hit to our reputation will be enormous. Imagine us running away on the highlight reel of the next season of Bounty Hunters. You think anyone would want to hire us after that? On the other hand, if we fight him and win, we'll be famous. We could jack up our rates. Hell, hell with it. We're pushing forward. If the Bounty Hunter wants a piece of us, we'll give it to him. Let's just see how good this guy really is. <laughs> I like that. Both the logboat transforms into a turret, and me and the sip, sip go on our way to Took yet. A phone company declared a batch haul. I'm your spaniel. One second, need to. One second, need to mute real quick.
Sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. Again, didn't want you guys to blow blow out eardrums. Reserve. Okay, what do we... Okay, that's a griffin. Let's see what we got here for that mech. A Vulcan. Well, at least it's not the Vulcan 2T. That mech's cursed. In particular. In my opinion. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. Lighting them up. Getting hot in here. And by the way, when I mean curse, I mean when it's not used in its intended role, which has been pressed pressed into surface like that for a long time. Okay, new zeal. What do you need, Commander? Let's focus on that flamer carrier. Taking the shot, Commander. Yeah, that is true. That's one more bad guy off the board. Although some industrial mechs are a lot better than the Vulcan 2T. There goes the paint job. Okay, it has medium laser, machine gun, flamer, and UAC-5. Not really something I'd be using. As is, that is. Oh, in case you're wondering, for those who are wondering, because the Kodiak Omni mech that I have here is not part of BTA proper. It's a mech that I modded in myself. Okay, still out there, Wheeler? That's a shame. I was hoping you'd listen to the basic instructions. Yeah, I bet you were. Sorry to disappoint. Hey, I, hey I'm sorry too. I was hoping you would have to obey my order to. I would, wouldn't have to order my associates to reduce you to your component materials. Unfortunately, you've taken that decision out of my hands. God's commander, we have company. If by some miracle you manage to survive what's coming, feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, this is goodbye, commander. Do a better job picking your battles in the next life. Ugh. Okay, I can't really see what mechs he brought in. Yeah, it probably would be good in guerrilla fighting. Okay, where are you running off to? Right now, I'd have to wait for it to, wait for it to be my turn.
Oh, it's a storm crow. Oh, by the way, everyone, I do, I do have a little bit of lore here to, 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 to tell you. And it's about Timbiki Dark. You've probably heard him mentioned on, mentioned in the Baltic universe for the um. I will be done. On and on here, but actually, first before we do, on my way. Talk about. It, let's get my turn over with. I'm thinking focus fire on the Stormcrow here. Stormcrow G, now oh, that sounds interesting. Let's try for a headshot. Well, I destroyed an actuator and injured the pilot. I think I hit something good. What do you need, Commander? Let's take out that Griffin. I'm not comfortable with that out being there. Taking the shot, Commander. Duncan Fisher here. Okay, get him up there. Off the PPC. Lighting them up. And there we go. Cause a bunch of damage. And finally, my Kodiak. I critted out the engine. Enemy mech destroyed. No, I didn't. I just destroyed the center torso. Okay. Also, we can see what other mechs they brought in. A fire starter, which is just simply a refit that contains only small pulse lasers, and it's just two storm crows and. Okay, that storm crow has to go. And it's a Hollander, which has a heavy gauss. Anyway, as I was saying, the Tabiki Dark, uh, uh, as you've Heard about it either on here, read it in the book, usually read it in the lore and all that fun stuff. It's apparently produced as far back as the Starly Girl. By the by on on a planet called Timbiki for Timbiki spirits. By the Vashash Brujas. And it's probably it is a widely popular beer amongst mercenary troops across the inner sphere. From the basically from the con, from, from the condensed on the fake inaugurating on Dark Cat and, and famous sports bars uh, on Solaris Seven, and it's not merely popular in the Lyran Commonwealth. It is much desired import f across the industry, including the Federated Suns, Capellans, and even far-flung periphery states. And with it being on the on the of the Lyran free, uh, free World League border, and whatever the plant, 
the planet has been raided or traded hands during, like, briefly during the Fourth Succession War, most parties avoid wherever possible damaging the brewery and its famous beer. Now you now you're wondering, wondering, do the clans do the clans like it? Well, you can thank Clan Wolf for introducing it because it has a cult f following amongst them. It, where it got to the point where the Clan Diamond Shark made a generous offer for exclusive license job. to import the beer into Clan Space. Now that's smart of them. I'll tell you more in a second. I want to see what's good. What? Okay. Stone crows. When it goes over here. Okay. Hey, don't you know who I am? But yeah, ab but yeah, with the whole in the whole Order. import thing, be because because it got introduced to the clans. But actually, first let me focus right here real quick. Let's use the Stormbreaker. Let's increase it to three times. Locking on. I got the heat spiking here. Yeah, that's what you get for. That's what we get for having you just hammer everything. Let's take out that Hollander if we can. Taking the shot, Commander. But yeah. Oh, the, 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 with Natasha Kerensky and the capture of Inner Sphere, Inner, Inner Sphere warriors such as Phelan Kell, it, they brought the beer to the attention of Ilkhan at the time, Il, 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 Oliver Kerensky. And when he had some of it, he liked the taste so much he mentioned his intent to conquer the world of Timbiki in order to secure it. That's how it got got popu popular uh, in the clans. Huh? Heading that way. Um. I have a better chance to hit the Hollander there. Lighting him up. And how the information um, uh, reached to Mickey Spirits is unknown, but the advertising. Let's go wild, oh. folks! Ooh, nice! Kapow! Anyway, the advertising. They Ooh, getting hot decided in here. to start advertising, basically pro pro proclaiming it to be the brew of the Ilkhan. Get, but just move over here. There we go. One, another mech down. But yeah, the written advertising in in the. Um, in Universe magazine, related how how Mercer Unit was apparently able to trade six hundred six thousand crates of beer to the Wolves Delta Galaxy Commander at the time for their freedom at thirty fifty one. And of course, according to the to the video game here. Mind you, this is apocryphal, so we don't know what. So, so it's not really. So, canonicity is kind of eh on that. You know, the game describes it as brewed as uh, brewed with a chocolate malt, producing a medium-bodied beer with low bitterness and a pleasant caramel aroma.
<laughs> that would be an interesting joke mission, yeah. Now, if you're now, there's another beverage that that you can actually make make in real life. That's that is from the Battletech universe. It is the PPC beverage. It is for the background on this. It was introduced in was it introduced on Solaris Seven, um, and named for the for the from for the Battletech weapon. It, it takes the form of four shots of grain alcohol poured into a brandy snifter. The white lightning of the grain alcohol is diluted with two shots of another form of alcohol. And of course, each variant of it is named for one of the five houses. Well, give me one second, let me take care of my turn here. Rolling. What do you need, Commander? On the way, nice and slow. I have you move, and I have to put it to short range. Dang it! Taking the shot, Commander. Uh, huh? Let me get Heading that my way. turn done and then we'll continue discussing things. Lighting them up! Did I just print out the, the engine warrior or crumble? Nope. Something would kaboom. Getting hot in here. Battle Mac operational. Full throttle. Perfect angle. Okay, as I was saying, yeah, there's variants of, quote-unquote, variants of it. For example, the Steiner PPC cuts it with two shots of peppermint schnapps. Merrick PPC cuts it with two ounces of Uzu. Davion, two shots of bourbon, though tequila is used at the Capellan March. Leon PPC cuts it with two shots of plum wine, while the Curita version cuts it with two shots of sake. Though some likely claim aviation fuel if handier. And drinking the the grain alcohol straight up is occasionally called a periphery PVC or just plain foolish. And there's an apocryphal version called the Canopus PVC, which is filling the f it, which is of course grain alcohol, second half with cherry brandy and finishing off with a dissolved pearl. Now, the dissolved pearl bit, all I can imagine is, is edible glitter being put in. Basically for that luminescence. I'm ready. Onward. Confirm.
And the Reporting. final cocktail I want to mention to you from the Battletech universe is the Urban Mech. Outside of Battletech, the common this is one of the common recipes for a fuzzy navel. It is the Urban Mech, which is equal parts peach schnapps and orange juice. Honestly, when I was expecting an Urban Mech, I I think something different what do you for need, a Commander? drink. What type of engine is it? Okay, it's a Clan XL. Taking the shot, Commander. Uh, what's that? Turn off those media pulse lasers. Lighting them up. <laughs> Something just went boom. Yeah, it did. What type of engine do you have again? XL. I just need to take out a side torso. Enemy mech destroyed. Well, I could salvage the whole mech if I wanted to. However, that Firestar is not having a good day. Ready for orders. Try to go for another headshot, that is. Locking in all weapons. Solid connection on that one. What do you need, Commander? Looks like you got out maneuvered. Big fire. That target's having a real bad day. Uh, what's that? I'm just going to use the yellow arms. Lighting them all up! Something just went boom! Turning off all my lasers for now. And the... And the Hag 30. <coughs> Excuse me.
Zion Z uh, Zion DDY, thank you for following. Hey, don't you know who I am? Commander? What do you need, Commander? Taking the shot, Commander. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the weapons are striking true. <laughs> Now it's just that one mech left. Uh, what's that? Turn off the LRMs, turn on the precision strike. Let's see if we could cause some damage to the head here. Lighting them up! <laughs> that pilot and they'll be done for. Hey, don't you know who I am? That's just reserved down to one. Waiting for orders. And of course, try to go for the head. Targeted for now. target. Uh, killed the pilot, nice. Clear the AO, God's big praise, begging knuckles with the bounty hunter is my idea of a good time. Incoming transmission. I hear you just handed my friends a regulation ass kicking. I suppose I should thank you for that. It can give me something to rip, rip about at our next celebration party. From where I'm standing, you don't have a whole lot to celebrate. The hold full of contraband we just lived in says otherwise. I'd be happy to chat about it after we we're all back in orbit. Drop me a line, Wheeler. I'll be waiting. Mission successful. Yeah, you sound slimy. Now let's see what we can get from the salvage. Okay, we could take the storm crow. That fire starter part. Might as well take the Uziel.
Hunting season two. Okay, I got. I, okay, I got a mini wheeler. I've underestimated you badly. If we're ever in conflict with uh, one another again, I won't send my second stringers to chew you on. Uh, for you to chew on, I'm gonna come for you myself. What happened down there was just business, bounty hunter. There's no reason for any animosity between our companies. I'm glad you see it that way. Matter of fact, I got a drop shuttle on on the way to your location right now. I realized that your company got the short end of the stick in this situation, so I got a little peace offering for you. Sort of a consolation prize for the losing side. Uh, I could tell you we're done. Okay, what is it? Some wreckage my crew pulled from the distribution uh, site scrap heap. Bits and pieces, nothing major, but they tell me they've never seen anything like them before. I figure your pal veterinarian may want to take a look at what we found. It'll keep him occupied for a while at the very least. How uncharacteristically generous of you. Is it me or does this strike anyone else as really, really suspicious? Like, there must be a catch here, levels of suspicious. There's no cash, just a jumble of scrap. Too damaged to resell. Besides, I only have the spare... Oh, I don't have the space for it. My crew already scooped up as much exotic contraband as our dropship could carry. Look, do you want this crap or not? I'd rather see you go to a worthy mechware than stay in the hands of some ivory tower shit heel. But if you're feeling antsy, I guess I could just have my people toss it in a ditch. We'll take it. Good, I want us to part ways on decent terms. Never know who you're going to get paired up paired up with on a future gig. Now, catch you further on down the line, Commander. It's a small galaxy after all. And he disconnects. What an asshole. I mean, yeah, he gave us creative junk as a parting gift, but every damn word that came out of his mouth sounded like a veiled threat. Well, that junk came from the do that junk came from the Dobrev. That makes it a potential lead. The commander's right. There, sh there could be clues in the crate. Evidence that'll lead us to the wherever Nokta Brahman took the Dobrev. I shouldn't have to remind you how important that is that we find that ship. You don't have to, Doc. Look, I'm suspicious of the bounty hunter's motives, but that doesn't mean I'm not excited. The scrap came from the Dobrev, a ship that we've already established to be full of sunshine and unicorns. Hell, I'd be surprised if my mech techs were, sh were, were sifting through, the through it already. Whatever answers are in that crate, you'll get them, and I'll bring them to you as soon as I can. Just try not to get your hopes up, okay? Don't worry about us, just focus on the task at hand. None of us are likely to forget that forget that the bounty hunter is a nightmare, nightmare of a person. While we're waiting for the Chief's report, we should probably could complete a few contracts to keep the cash flow moving in the right direction. We'll reconvene when we got news about our crate, whatever that news may be. Okay, blah blah blah. Let's see what we got here. Narc launcher engine compact MML3 snub nose PPC gyro machine gun. Yeah, useless stuff. And you know what? Even though we're an hour, an hour sixteen minutes in, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna head back to Cormadir and call down a Union dropship. Let's go to the actually first. Want to see if we have any? Yeah, black market. Good. Okay, we have a Blackbeard mech in storage. Goliath. And that has Gal's rival. Not really what I want. An imp. We have one in storage. I could also get another palace. If I wanted to. You're just gonna have to wait and see, Yoza. 
Just gonna have to wait and see. Now, Cormadier is right there. By your command. Engines prime. All hands prepare for transition to thrust gravity. Okay, by okay, that cobble sub summons you to the mech bay where Tex is laying out of bed. Commander Tex's rehabilitation is coming along, but with but with the advanced facilities aboard the Argo, we can certainly speed things up if we want to pay the price. Newer prosthetic prosthetics also have ha almost ha have almost no acclimatization time, but we need a hefty chunk of change for for those pukes at New Avon to send us the specs. What do you think? Well, if it gets him into battle a lot quicker, buy the prosthetic. This company is family. Whatever you need to do to keep us going, we'll do it. Transfer payment to to N to New Avon Institute of Science immediately. Tex is no longer debilitated and may be deployed. Even though he's still technically injured, I'm letting it run the course. Just means he has himself a new arm now. <laughs> also, I'm going to have to bring out the heavy guns this time. Hold on one second before we continue. Do I have have my one artillery mech in here? Because I got a feeling I'm gonna need it. Yes we do, and do you have the ammo for it? Yes we do, we got ourselves a Davy Crockett. But I got a feeling we're going to need a couple more, maybe. That reminds me, do we have the, have any more of that ammo? Fast cam. Yes, we got one more Davy Crockett. There. Drop the core down. Journals, Ninja Core. Let's go from a 350 to a 340. Actually, no, 330. That way we can add some more ammo if needed. That and a uh, tag laser if I can. No, that's actually no, not the tag laser. That no, that's the fast cam. I want the. I already put that in. Duh. Yeah, that's. Heat sinks are not a thing we need, but I got a, but I got a feeling I'm going to need some close defense weapons. So let's go with some ER small lasers. There we go. Validate. A couple of days for right. that to get all taken get care of. 
And while I'm thinking about it, take care of my take care of the Marauder Omni Mech here. I'm just gonna repair all, strip strip the equipment. And after it's all fixed up, we're putting it to storage. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. We've arrived, Commander. Okay, this is the store. Now, you're wondering why I'm visiting the store right now. It's because that's the only way I could get the contract for the Union dropship. Okay, this item lets you spe spawn a specialized contract where you fight against a Union dropship uh, complete with associated mech forces. This contract is very difficult. Prepare accordingly. New equipment available. And also, while I'm at it, get that enhanced comm suite. D dangerously expensive. Yeah. For yeah, I'm tr trying to remember who, how much one of them costs. It's sea bills. Give me one second. Let me bring it up on Sarna here real quick. But until then, while actually while it's load I'm getting that. Gotta better get to the contract here. Union busting. Okay, special BTA contract. Uh, uh, Dar uh, Darius surveillance team picked up a local government signals from the surface of Cormadier that corresponds to a Union class dropship having recently landed and beginning to deploy its cargo. We need someone to go in and destroy the entire operation, including the Union itself. Bring your A-game, Commander. Unions aren't easy targets. And we're not bringing tanks because, as you can see right here, tanks can bug out on the contract. And I could lose them permanently. And you know what? Let's go for salvage. Now, we're going to have to plan accordingly, so we're going to leave an announcer in, move Harmony down one, actually, and move, actually move those two down, get Grandpa in, let him take the Great Turtle here. And what, what do I usually have you pilot again? The Annihilator 2, but let's go for... No, that's the wrong one. It's this one. The Quad Death Ray Matar. Because we're going to need... Need someone to keep an eye out on on things for us. Get those get th get the thunder hammers out. L those LRMs, death rays.
Oh. Dang it, I forgot how much tonnage. Okay, announcer's gonna go into his... into a scorpion. Wait, how much tonnage again? Okay, we need to shed 25 tons. So... Put in the coital. Hellion will... No. Arbiter will take... The Blitzkrieg. Popo, Thunderhammer, Shade, Thunderhammer. You get the Coital, you get the Warhammer. You get the Royal Catapult. And that's all we could take, really. Well then, let's go, let's go destroy a dropship. Yeah, looking at it, uh, looking at it, I believe the price for a Union dropship is twelve, say two hundred fourteen million sea bills. And there is a conversion rate from sea bills to 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 you uh, to um for say from wizard fun. We're gonna go with which is four hundred seventy eight dollars per sea bill. I'm going to have to get out a calculator for this one. Uh, come on. No, my game, my whole entire computer froze for a tiny bit. Okay. 
Uh, so saying before, I have to bring it up again for how much it was again. Okay, looking at it's yeah, twelve point to say two Trying to convert that convert the the price into U.S. into U.S. dollars, which at this time it would be thirty sixty two, which is the best conversion I could get to on the C bill conversion, which is four point seven eight dollars. It is one billion two hundred say two hundred say twenty two million nine thousand two there's a there's a ah let's start again one billion twenty two million nine hundred twenty thousand dollars to that's for us that's for a union dropship if converted into US currency at 3062 price and of course 2021 US dollar all i could say is say is that is one expensive dropship Mind you, there should be some depreciation costs due to it being used. Okay, time to begin this mission. One second, everyone. I'm trying to make sure everything is working. Okay, the game froze up right this second. There we go. But yeah, a little over a billion dollars is nothing to is something to shake a stick at. Command interface initiated. Okay, we got the dropship picked to this location, Commander. Gauge the Union and take it down. Keep an eye out, though. The Union already deployed some of its mech forces. They'll be sure to defend the ship. Be careful. Olivia, Olivia out. 
It okay. From the Arcadians, specifically the pilot Beetle. Ghost Wolf Pack, was it? Nothing personal, but how about you head back home to your ship before you we gotta shoot this out? Okay, Fog's gonna mess with visuals, but sensors should be just fine. Yes, that's why I brought a nuke to help out. Before we do, I am purposely doing this just so we could just so you could see what the scope of this dropship looks like. Yes, I'm using the debug tool. Toggle visibility. We're not checking out the mechs, we're checking out the dropship. Yeah, this is the target. <laughs> One Union dropship. Has a whole bunch of turrets on it, and look if, if you say if you look right here, free state of Vanzand. Gotta love that uh, text talks battle tech. You say the yeah that little bit of an Easter egg right there. Anyway, we now got a narrow. We already knew it was right here before the before I showed this. Now, I'm just going to reserve down to one here. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. I'm letting them go first, that way... That way we're, we're all set up to... Throw a nuke at it. Again, even though I use the debug tool just to show off the show off the dropship, I have no clue what it's armed with for its ball turrets, nor do I know what's on the field for mechs. So we're gonna be having fun finding out what, what they are. Because we got one, two, three, four lances right here. Ah, uh, here's according to the list here. Oh, we got our. What do you need, Commander? Let's. Who do I have piloting at the Blitzkrieg again? Arbiter, yeah. I live to serve. Have him move. There. And... Ooh, that's not good. Would be right in the middle. We got our, some of our mix right in the middle of it. That's. Oh wait, does uh, over here? Let's see. Are we in the range of it? Yeah, we still kind of are.
Okay, we're just barely out of range. We'll soften up all the targets. Within the circle. Got something you want done? Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. Okay, what mechs do we have? We have a Banshee, a Zeus. Player at the Banshee. Sleeping. What do you want? Okay, I move there that we can oh, see what like other mechs there are. It's scary. Asunder and Atlas. And let's fire out the Atlas. Turn off one death ray. Lining him up, knocking him down just like Bella Woods. I think that's the Union dropship. Oh god, they hit me, son of a bitch. What do you need, Commander? Focus fire on that Atlas. Taking the shot, Commander. Standing by. On the way. How bad of a heat spike? Not that bad, surprisingly. I'll just fire three for now. God, does that have an XL? No standard, okay. Ooh! Ammo explosion! Destroyed. Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. Engaging target. That tag laser will cause some issues for that banshee pilot. Yes, Commander. I 
copy. Commander. Heading out. Mm -hmm. Just focus fire on the Banshee right now, then. Lock in target. It's getting pretty hot in this cockpit here. Bunny here. Throw some well or inside the banshee. Ah. Standing by. Guess I could do have the coital do is basically run for containment. Okay, my turn reserved down to one. Because once it's my turn, Arbiter will, will fire off that baby Crockett. There's stuff outside the outside the oh, zone that I can that I have to take care of first. Because that, because what I could tell is coming from over here, it could be in that zone, or it could be right here. I am not too certain, though. Could be right on the edge of it. Now it's my turn. I'm your spaniel. Fire. Melting yeah, armor.
I don't know what damage it did to the dropship, but hopefully it did, did, did a good chunk. Okay, we're gonna send. We're sending one mech in. There's a, the LAM in, so we could do some assessment here. No shooting, just running. But it really isn't gonna work because we're still a little bit too far out. Actually, no. Sensor lock. How you doing? I've got a sensor lock. Yeah, that really didn't work out for us. <laughs> In general, because as you can see, it only took minor damage. Union dropships are very tough. Okay, so the put bing on my phone. Okay, it's just, it's something something not related to this. That, so I'll watch it a bit later. That's a Goliath. What do you need, Commander? Yeah, that's not good. We got ourselves a lance here. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. Kind of expecting that just to blow up. Due to the heat, that is. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? You're asking a lot of an old guy. Okay, that banshee's right now offline. Fire off the death Line race. Up, knocking him down. All right, boys, follow me. We're gonna go. Wow, he fell down like I do. Okay, according to th that, I just realized we took down a lance. Metal machine that is says how hot it is. It looks very mad. Also, as you can see, saw, nukes really don't do that much damage to it. What do you need, Commander? On the way, nice and slow. As is, I'm going to have Harmony move, try to move towards the water. Taking the shot, Commander. Yes, Commander. Rolling. In case you're wondering, I have no idea how the turrets on the on the dropship are doing. Locked on target. Because right now the plan is also. Get I'm taking heat damage. 
get the Matar into water, have him work work his way up. See, have my clone get into the water, work his way up this way. That way he's, he's at, in the water and firing at the dropship. Forgot what type of engine do you have? It's a standard engine, okay. Another Enemy McDown. Destroyed. Standing by. We'll use shade so we can see what mechs we got over here. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, looks like we got ourselves an Ostwar, a Guillotine, a Thunderbolt, and a Highlander. I'll focus on the Thunderbolt with the uh, right this second. So that has a better chance in the long run for anything. Though it looks like we missed a bit. Affirmative. Sensor lock you. Bunny here. Moving. Has an XL, yep. Commander. Guessing the ball turrets are destroyed. I'm uncertain. Well, we'll get. As I was saying, we'll get. I think it's Popo. Yeah, Popo. To get in close to check. Yes, Commander. Targeting for an Alpha Strike. Good, the torso on that's open. Ready for orders. This 
swap to normal. I'll have you brace for now. Stabilizing and bracing. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. Last of the torso. Lighting them up. Hang it. Now there's one mech over here someplace. Good to go, boss. Hey, little diddle. Firing. There goes another. Got ourselves last one. Got ourselves one. Got ourselves five mix left out of the entire thing here. Okay, tell yeah, me, are the ball turrets still working? Going full throttle. No, it looks like I blew them up! Okay, we can salvage part of it. Do I want to? Not really. Oh, that's not good. I'm getting my ass kicked. God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. Yeah, 
yeah, it's gonna take a while to, to, to destroy this. I may have used the nuke, it took out its turrets, but it's gonna take what a What do you need, bit. Commander? There we go. Too far away. I'm receiving you. On the way. Double time. I'll wait till I'm in the water before I fire off those. Aye, aye. That. Nearly opened up the leg on that one. Commander? Wait, no, precise strike not gonna work. Let's do a standard arrow f arrow hit. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. Okay, it's an 80 ton mech back there. Good to go, boss. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Gun, gun. Gun. Okay, as long as none of the as long as this one doesn't attempt to shoot at the thunder say at, at Popo here, I think we're fairly good. I could be wrong, though. No, oh, good. Good, real good. Receiving you. No shooting, just running. 
gives me a chance to do a sensor lock. Else my phone went off again. One second, let's see what we got here. Both on this. Got a sensor lock. Okay, dad. My dad sent me through, 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 me, through a messenger. Um, picture of this tomahawk uh, ribeye. I'm listening. Trying to make me hungry while I'm streaming. I see. <laughs> Okay, next one I want to take out is the guillotine. Locked on. Your arm. Hostile removed. I'm out of LRN. No, you're out of bunker busters, but I'll take that anyway. Yeah, as I was saying, or saying it's a it's a two kilogram tomahawk steak, it uh, which is eight dry aged for forty five days. All I can say is it looks good, and and I quote unquote hate that for him saying it to me right now. <laughs> oh, I can hear my dad la laughing in the other room. <laughs> Yeah, he's laughing. <laughs> oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? He knows what he did was evil. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. He sent me something else. Down just like Bella Woods. Let's see what he sent. The little machine that is says how hot it is it looks very mad. And it's French fries with steak. A lot of steak on it. And something else. And it's a video which I'm not watching right this second. What do you need, Commander? Taking the shot, Commander. Just to help keep the mech cool. Ready for orders. Ah, good. The Matar could get into water. On the move. Full speed. 
Now, can we fire all four death rays? Yes, we can! Yes, Commander. Okay. We need to take out that thunderbolt, in my opinion. Because I want to salvage that Highlander if I can. And... Use over Give them everything I've got. Good. Enemy down. My mech is overheating. I'm holding. Reserve down. Waiting for orders. Down for now. Move order received. Now we can put in another hit with a tag laser. Because because this helps soften up the target with basically takes more AoE damage, which guess what we have right here with AoE damage. Yes, Commander. Locking on. Bunny here. Maybe panic at pa panic level critical, but it's a case of you can't exactly eject from a dropship. Order. Affirmative. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. And let's attempt a headshot here. There we go, structures exposed on the dropship here. Oh, it's a salamander. I, I forgot to mention. Reporting. Minimal damage. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Oh, I don't like going fast. Get in the water. It's scary. Oh, I probably don't have heat sinks in the legs. Well, fire two. Running him up, knocking him down, just like Bella Woods. I can't believe I missed. 
I also can't believe I'm still alive. What do you need, Commander? What type of engine do you have? XL, okay. One more mech left, and Enemy then mech everything can be focused on the Union dropship. Oh, I can salvage that salamander. We were out. What? Timed? What the heck? We were outgunned and outnumbered. Not a good showing, Commander. Mission failed. How did I. How? How did I fail that mission? That I was winning. That's just I'm gonna have to look that up real quick. Now that I could see. Best way to find out is look it up on the wi on either the wiki or It looks like it. Okay, what happens is... What happens is, once the turrets are gone, the... It will leave. That's why it happened. Oh, fuck. Well, take the salamander then. Damn. Surprisingly, no, I'm not. Got 30 minutes left, and don't feel like feel like doing that all again. I 
I understand why the feature's there. That way you're not just simply taking out the, the taking out the the turrets and then having then focusing on the mechs. You need to leave it leave at least a couple of turrets there so you're not so it's not gonna just take off. But damn, that sucked. Yeah, I'm going to do another dropship mission off st off stream. Sanctuary heat sink in there. Ooh. There we go. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. I think that's going to be a mission I'm going to record off stream uh, and put it up onto YouTube as a special. Well, since well, since we lost that mission, we're just gonna take some random missions here. Okay, blackout. Okay, let's see. Storehouses. No. Let's go with double trouble here. At least, hopefully, we can recoup the losses. By the way, yeah, I should mention I do have a YouTube channel. I usually upload my VODs to... Oh, I, I got myself some... got myself some consolation prizes out of the deal. I got myself a salamander if I wanted to assemble it. Let's go with the Annihilator 2 and the t Yeah, and the Timberwolf. Yeah, Timberwolf. My clone will pilot it. And... Helion will pilot the Timberwolf. This is one of those things that I like to take, at times I like to take, unless it's something that I really d didn't like, like say, one of my favorite pilots died, let's like say, if Tex died, I'd reload the save. But in this, or I lost a good mech and somehow got a whole bunch of shittier mechs in return, I'd reload a save then. But at times, I do have to just simply write it off. And this is one of those times. Besides, we didn't lose any pilots. We just got ourselves just a bit of damage and a damaged heat sink. That's uh, besides a bit of loss on sea bills. I could make that up by selling some stuff too.
and do some missions. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to take a sip of drink. Besides, besides, sure, we're, we're, we've lost this, we lost that mission, but hey, we're going to beat up some Capellans now. Because if you saw, if you, if you read what the, what it says here, last night a few of our crew members took some much needed R&R &R at the local Capellan bar. Words were said, and now it looks like we're stuck in a duel with two apparent, apparent Capellan guards. Our crew aren't fighters, so maybe you can help us out. So, sh so we got ourselves the consolation prize of a uh, salamander ass assault mech, which is really good for for LRMs and all that fun stuff. And we get to beat up some Capellans. Uh oh. There we go. Sorry, you had ourselves a bit of a hiccup here. I thought for a second I was going to have to turn off my computer. Command interface initiated. Okay, ready up. How unfortunate this has turned out. But well, we can't trip back down now. These Death Commando guards out. Let's sort these Death Commando's guards out there and let's get out of here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Not again. Please stop acting up. Thank you. Although all tabbing did not help me out at all. Ah, there we go. That rain will help with the heat sinking, Commander. Light him up. Acknowledged. Roger that. What are we dealing with for enemy max? An avatar and a thunder. Reserve down. Well, let's just see what happens. Let them make move. Why are you having hiccups right now, computer? Uh. It's okay, damage is light. I'm ready. Confirmed. Engaging. <laughs> I think I hit something good. Yeah, you took over the red line. You gave it an inch crit and uh, and took out a 
medium medium pulse laser it looks like those to 3x. Here we go! Scored a critical hit! Alright, hit him hard now. Yeah? On my way! One second. No, it sounds. No, the PC is fine on the cooling front right now. I did uh, a couple days ago. I did a. My dad did a. Help me do a clean out of any and all dirt and debris. That one tagged me good. I await your command. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. <laughs> One less target. I just destroyed the engine off of that. Starting to cook. There we go. Glad you did it, Commander, but time to run. Reports of this duel are reaching the airwaves. Nah, I don't want to run. Mission successful. What? Why not? Why run? Basically, just stick around. Any compels show up, just give them the middle, the middle finger and tell them to fuck off. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to take part of that thunder. And we got the whole thunder. <laughs> also, well, some mech parts is real good. All right, everyone, I must say, I have to play, I'm sorry I have to say this for now, but I have to play ads because we've got ourselves 20 minutes left to go, and if I don't want us to get interrupted by ads while I'm signing off, so going to have to play some ads, so, so see you after the ad break. All right. Blah blah blah. Gang training, guidance, whatever. I'll fix. Take care of you. Would take care of that in a bit.
you're wondering why I'm going to the mech bay right now. Because I want to take care of some mechs I haven't been using, really. Come on. Load up. I've been really using this archer. Could also get those MRMs out of that. Okay, I got there's that Mackie, but I wanna take I wanna get the salamander all assembled so I can Sell it. Now. That's another mech I want to assemble to sell. That mech you wanted is back online. mech I really want to make is... Could it be the grasshopper here? The 5H grasshopper. I'm just checking real quick, see if there's anything else. Not really. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Equipment off, place the engine. Wait a second, which side? Yeah, that side for the arms. So we're going to need that. For the internals, I want to upgrade the engine from a standard to an XL. Let's make it a clan one. Keep the engine as is right this second, except for adding a E cooling. Now for weapons. Might as well go pulse lasers. At least across there. Ah, uh, nope. That's not gonna work there. Let's use heavy clan lasers. Clan heat sinks. Really need to get into clan space to get more clan clan stuff. Exchanger 2 take up too much tonnage? 
Yeah, it would. Dang. Dang it. Um. Let's. But I can't really swap out the engine. Ah, the edge of the gyro. Let's just put in a clan active probe and a an e clan clan ECM. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. That sounds like what a grasshopper with clan tech would be in MechWare Online, in my opinion. It, except for those two, two things. It would be a targeted computer along with a, a along with the active probe, instead of an ECM. Anyway, one more mission, and that'll be it for tonight. Actually... Let's find ourselves someplace a bit more reasonable. Let's go to Tiverton. Calculating course now, Commander. Engines prime. All hands from here for transition to thrust gravity. Also gives us a chance to check out the black market there. Now let's stall to the leopards ready. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. By the way, because I also mentioned this, I'm seriously considering after the whole heavy metal campaign to start a new save. Waypoint reached, Commander. Mainly because we more or less got everything done. After the heavy metal campaign for anything big. Okay, first... Helios, what do you... Not really that interesting. Ooh, sorry for the yawn. Anything else interesting? Get another one of those. New equipment available. Nothing really there. Let's see what you got for missions. Okay, let's go with... Let's go with data piracy. I need the sea bills more than the salvage. Clear everything out.
And I'm thinking just simply having five mechs will be good enough for this mission. Oh, I haven't really done anything with the with the direwolf, I believe. Okay, let's get get shade in. I want him want just one LAM up and about because you never know. The Royal Warhammer and And what other mech? Oh, and let's go with the Annihilator, too. That'll be a nice eclectic mix. I'm putting an announcer into the Warhammer, aka Duncan Fisher. Of course, I usually pilot the Kodiak Omni mech. And Harmony, the longbow. Get up and stretch a little bit. That's better. Do 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 just have to wait for it to load. By the way, the bird besides it being look the by flag bird besides it being look Looking cool, just dancing there and all that all the time. I put it there for another reason too. It's basically to help indicate if the stream is frozen on frozen does depends on if it's on your end, my end, doesn't matter. Just helps indicate if there's if there's an issue. But mainly because it looks cool.
I just have to wait for it to load. Do 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 do. There we go. After this mission, we're packing it up. Hopefully, it's gonna be real quick. I could be wrong, though. Command interface initiated. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold and a headache. Great. Cold and a headache. No, that's more like you got hung over. Again. Oh, come on, let me... Why can't I re-angle... Okay, I'm gonna have to use the keyboard then to re-angle the camera. Heading that way. On the way, nice and slow. There's a facility commander, that's where the, there were supposed to be any units in that base. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to secure the area, commander. I'm still seeing hostile contacts on screen. Also, I also please stick around. We I have an I. I got a person that I want to go to after this. down. I'm going to take a quick look at the, at the, yeah, you know, the, I'm trying to think of the name of it.
the task manager. I want to see if it's Sporting. using up a Minimal lot damage. of... It's using up a lot of memory right now. 12,000k. Not 12,000k, um, 12 million k of memory. That's in use by the processor, so... It's t it's oh it's about time. To, I'm sorry I have to cut this short because he sucking up all the memory in my computer. Yeah, come on. Okay, I don't know if you heard me, so I'll just type this in to chat. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm sorry about that, folks. The game was base. Um, I need to double check things here real quick. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, folks. The game was basically sucking up so much of the memory that I had to shut this down. I had to shut the game down. So, we're ending it here. I'm sorry about this, folks. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Well, um, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. It is a case of, I think I just... Just took up a too much stuff. Anyway, for those who are interested in my in in my stream, um, want to and want to follow me along, this is my schedule. Oh, hello, my. It's not one thing; it's another thing. Let's try this again. This is my schedule. There we go. As you can see, I str. Stream, stream MechWare Online on Fridays, any game on Sundays, Battletech Advance 362 on Mondays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see when I go live on Twitter, or or if I post anything interesting, random, I just post it there. As you can see, there's the link is in the chat, and I also have a Discord server. Link is also in the chat for that. You also, you can hang out with me, and you can also... See whenever I go live on there too. Now I thank you all for watching. Please stick around for the raid. And we're gonna go with modern mythology again. Um actually Actually no, I think I see a better better one. For the, this instance, once 
because I have it. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go with go with this person instead, actually. We're gonna go with ghost wizards. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there. Goodbye. Good night, everyone. And goodbye. Or say goodbye, everyone. And please, and have a good night, whatever day it is for you. <laughs>